Hello, this is Joe Speed. I'm going to give you a short demo that was shown at the IBM Mobile Summit this past week in Santa Clara. One aspect for this demo, MQTT, it's a protocol. Uh, it was adopted by Facebook and others because of the kinds of attributes, the performance that it gives for the mobile applications. So we're very bullish about how this fits for anyone wanting to do higher performance or more interactive mobile applications. And the way it fits with our Worklight product is actually as a PhoneGap plugin that exposes a trivially simple JavaScript API and a set of JavaScript widgets that you can then use to develop your hybrid applications. This demo you're going to see uses the new IBM messaging appliance. Uh, there's a preview of that at the Information on Demand conference last month. And uh, it's very focused around Internet of Things and mobile applications. Um, things where you're trying to do Internet scale, so millions of messages, millions of users, millions of devices, these kinds of scenarios. And this demo is also using the Infosphere stream. So when you have millions of users or devices connected or vehicles, being able to do some real-time analytics on those event streams uh, and being able to do so aware of uh, geospatial aspects. So um, being able to do this analysis of when, where, and what at internet scale. So the demo you're going to see, we're, we've got vehicles connected to the IBM messaging appliance, Infosphere Streams and the new geospatial toolkit is subscribing to these topics. And as things are occurring, if there's an emergency situation or some other kind of event that occurs, uh, Streams is actually going to inject uh, new insight, new events back into the stream. And with that, Let's go to the demo. So in the demo today, what you're going to see is we've got, we're here in Manhattan. Uh, and this demo was actually developed uh, a bit before the Information on Demand conference. So it's uh, slightly prescient that, that uh, we were actually simulating you know, New York emergency scenarios. So for sake of argument, uh, let's say we're going to create an event okay and so maybe I want it to encompass you know these areas town and so I've got my emergency cordon um, and then I've also got the actual kind of you know danger area where the actual emergency is occurring right so with that let's go ahead and bring up our mobile device and we'll send an event and you see that we've got a vehicle that has been incapacitated in the danger zone. Oh, and another one has entered the danger zone as well. And vehicles that hit the, uh, in the cordon area, they are rerouted. However, <laughs> you see they're not hitting it until they're too far into a one-way street. So you see our various messages here and then our inbox. And so um, with this, for any of the warnings, uh, you can see we can actually do confirmation back. So you see we have a confirmation back. We can also do things with, let's zoom in here a little bit more. I can take one of these vehicles, for example, and say, um, and they can send message out. Right? And what you're actually going to see then is uh, based on that vehicle's current uh, position, heading, you, we include the Google, Strap, the Google st Street view for that location. Okay? And that concludes this very, very brief demo.